Hello YouTube, we just sharpened the blade on this. If we can get in here and show you this, we're trying to look through the viewfinder. You, you see that? And then the opposite will be when you turn on. This is not a back saw. This can be sawed either way. Uh, some of these teeth were not really the greatest on the edge. Okay. So we're going to get you over at the desk and get you a little better. I think you see, you kind of see the angle I'm going here. We can back you up a ways. Sorry about the shaky cam. We'll get you over to the desk and get a little bit better lighting and show you the teeth on this. And the saw. It's the saw that I just put up a video on. Okay, here's the one side of the teeth. Okay. So this is the back back side of one of the teeth. Okay, let's turn it over. You can see the angle. It's got to copy what's on it. We don't want to try to do the film this doing it. We just want to show you that we did sharpen the blade. And then if you've seen the other video, we'll go saw another piece of wood and see how much better. Some of these, I left one alone. And right down here, this, this will show you. Can you see this tooth right here? It almost looked like they thought about making a back saw blade because it's really weird. If that's what they meant to do, well, I changed it because it's just not pointy there. I know I left. I know it's this one. Yeah, it is both of them. I'll take a close up shot of that. Let me come right back and then we'll saw a piece of wood with it. I'll take a close-up shot of this. And then at the end of the video you can look at and see what I mean. That it just was not to a nice point. So stay tuned. Okay, one test is try to film it. See that? See it's kind of globby on that? See it right there? If they meant this to be a back saw, well... It's not anymore. Can you see that? How it's globby like that? Compared to one that I sharpened. See, look at the ones I sharpened. Okay. I left a couple of these just to show you the difference. That was the worst one. There we go. Well, a, there we go. Sometimes this film's better right there. See that? Or it looks like it's almost bent back. <clears throat> Mass produced. Not complaining. I mean, there's a lot of tools you get. You get the axes and everything else. You can buy a knife now and ain't sharp. They're afraid you're going to cut yourself. Okay, let's saw some wood. If you watch the other video, you might be able to tell how it saws a lot better. So stay tuned. We'll get there. Okay. Hope the fan ain't too loud. We got this huge branch we want to make a walking stick up, and it's got a crack up in here, about to here. And I, like I said, I don't like sawing this side of the vise because of this. We didn't put a rag down there, so here we go. We're gonna use that as a pull saw because it's easier than me pushing up. If I'm sitting here in the chair, so here we go. Let's get a little slot cut, kind of cheap, and start you can we, we don't need to time this we just want to see how good it works Okay, that's what we wanted to get rid of. These have been up in the rafters for several years. They're mulberry. Uh, somebody might even remember when I trimmed the mulberry tree because 
the power company took it out. It was out in the alley. It just kept growing up towards the power line. So they took the tree out. So I got out there the day before and salvaged what I could for wood. But this still could be have something done with it. I mean, if you wanted to saw it, I have my little jigsaw table saw. You could take some slabs out of this for knife scales. You could. It's got a nice crack down it. I mean, that's a start. Uh, I may crack it open here and show you a picture of it if I can get it cracked open, but we'll save it. But it's it's not too bad of wood. Mulberry is kind of a yellow colored sometimes when you just put varnish on it. There we go. We'll pause and we'll see if there's any few more comments we might have here. Here's the big old branch I sawed it off. I mean, it's, it's got to be like seven foot. It's going to be a walking stick. So... I probably won't make a video of doing it. I mean, you probably do. I'll probably make a video of it with it done, but not through the whole process. That, that'd be kind of even boring for me to do. Is that stuff you do when you want to be calm, relaxed, uh, take your time? I suppose I could show a little bit of tips that I use when I take, like, the knots and stuff off. We'll think about it. We'll see what you think. Let me know in the comments if you want to see me make a walking stick. Here's what the wood looks like if you'd varnish it with wet with water on it. See how it's yellow and brown and then here's just all dried out. So I'll leave you a couple pictures of that. It, it's not a bad wood for a nice scale. It's kind of different. It's kind of cool there. So we're going to save it. So I have my little table saw that has a jigsaw blade goes up and down so I can, I can get that in there and saw some quarter inch slabs. So we're definitely going to save that. Oh, that's a nice specimen there. There's the big hunk I took off. So, thanks for watching.